I remember I went to Dave and Buster's for uh, my friend's birthday with a couple other other my buds. We went to Dave and Buster's, you know, had a good old time, hit up the happy hour at the bar. And uh, we set, it was me and two of my friends. There's this game there called Hatchet Hero, which fucking awesome game. You don't get any tickets from it, but like, who cares? Cause the game's fun to play. Yeah, no, you have these no. like, you have these shitty plastic hatchets and there's like a target board with um, like little like plastic spikes. And then the whole objective is to like stick the hatchet into the target. You don't have to stick it, but yeah. uh, it just, you need to hit the, the bullseye, you know, to get the points. And me and my two friends, we perfected it. <laughs> so we had one, two, and three on the leaderboard, nice. which probably they clear like every other yeah. week or so. So it's probably still not there, you know, but but we felt good about it. You know, I mean, it's good to accomplish something. I felt pretty bad because I found... Do you guys... Okay, actual question. Do you guys remember a game called Infinity Blade from... Yes. Uh, yes. They had that at my Dave and Buster. Wasn't that game like a mobile game? It was. It was. Yeah. And for some reason, they still had it there. And Yo, then it took all of my money. There's a I ton. Was yeah, that's fair. There was a ton of mobile games that got converted to arcade games. No, <laughs> fucking. It like cut the rope in Fruit Ninja. Yeah, that that was weird. That uh, was a bit weird. I mean, I could kind of expect that. Yeah, sort of. There was there was Minecraft Dungeons, which was kind of cool. Yeah, no, I saw the cards. And at... yeah, you get you get like fucking gotcha cards, <laughs> or as I like to call them, physical NFTs. <laughs> Isn't any property then technically a physical NFT? No, it's technically not. It's well, actually, I could correct myself and explain the difference, but that would make NFT bros happy. So yeah. instead, I'm not going to do that. All collectibles are NFTs, and they're all bad. Just on their True. own property. Ban Banjo-Kazooie, Collectathon, bad game. <laughs> bad game. And the... fucking NFTs. Donkey Kong 64, also a Collectathon, and you literally play as apes. Bad game. What are you doing? Like, come on. Hey, what's wrong with apes? Hey. The board apes. NFTs. Oh, I, mean, I understand. I'm stupid. Yeah, I'm... Yeah, I know. Yeah. Dude, Strat just stand still. <laughs> you are a space turret. Just like in in real life, the you know the odds of getting hit by debris in space is very slim, but very deadly if you do. Yeah. Very slim, but never zero. It's true. <laughs> Even right now, where you are sitting right now, viewer, there is a non-zero chance that you get struck by a meteor. Let's go. It's happened to people. It no, it has happened to people before. Yes. It it's literally happened yeah. where people have oh, just gotten struck through their roof. From it. Forget her name though. Fucking get sniped by face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like. Like, after something like that, you either stop believing in God, or you say God is real and he hates me. <laughs> no, I mean, if you survived it, it's like God looked for fun <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I mean, I take it the other way around. You either say, way, I it's a... God either way, it's a spiritual changed. changing experience. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm sure there's there's gonna be one person out there who's watching this that is genuinely terrified now of being struck yeah. by a meteor, and, and there's nothing uh -huh. they can do to prevent it or prepare for it. Yep. <laughs> literally nothing you can do. This man literally does everything. Well, possibly you could possible. you could start living underground, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> wouldn't work. Wouldn't work. I mean, yeah, a large enough meteor would break it. <laughs> Yeah. Live in a live in a duplex, and live on the bottom. So you just hope that your upstairs neighbor yeah. gets killed instead. Well, you just you just live in a bunker because if it, <laughs> if you live far enough down, 
if the meteor goes that far down, everyone dying in that area anyway, and so then, you had no chance. And then you die to carbon monoxide poisoning. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, yeah. I guess that is one way you can stop, uh, <laughs> stop a meteor from hitting you. Just, just die. die. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like gun violence, you know? Mm -hmm. The victims of gun violence. To see once. <laughs> the, the, you, you can never be a, a a victim of gun violence and die more than once. <laughs> true. Well, true. But sort of. I mean, you could sort survive of. the gun violence. <laughs> That's why more guns does solve the issue. <laughs> yep. One way or the other, either gun violence stops because everyone's dead, or it stops because it works. The end result yep. is the same. <laughs> True. Uh, somebody's actually going to use that as a fucking argument at some point. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they already do. No, I don't think they... Maybe. Maybe there are <laughs> people out there. I saw someone make an argument about if... Uh, in like five years... Uh, there will be less mass shootings at schools because there will be less children. It's like, I guess that's true, but yeah. <laughs> it's, I don't mm -hmm. think it's ideal. <laughs> well, they'll just move on to colleges. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, like, is that true? You know, uh, Drizzle's home state has already evolved beyond the need for only doing it at schools. <laughs> Supermarkets and movie theaters are fair game. I was actually near that supermarket that got shot that's, up. I that's was fucking there crazy. That yeah. That's fucking crazy. Like I went there like that day. I think. I think you could Holy wear a, You could wear an "I survived the I whatever survived the supermarket is" shooting. Yeah. <laughs> T-shirt. That's like uh, saying, like you know, like. It's like March of the year, or uh, we'll say like April or, or so, you know, like the end of April, getting close to June and July. You're like, hey, you know, for the uh, the next few months, school shootings will be solved. <laughs> we won't have any more. And you're like, yeah, I guess I, I guess you're right. We'll see, yeah, well, we'll you see. know, they're going to use that data, too. They're going to be like, well, we passed <laughs> this law and there's been less school shootings now. It's like, oh, well, man, yeah. How have you guys have any whack-ass fucking ads for mayor or... No, I use so many ad blocks that... Yeah, I know, I just... but I, I drive. Hmm. And so there's like a billboard that I drive past every... They have like ads against our current... I thought... <laughs> you know what you have to do. Yep. I don't know no! Change it. Sorry. Oh, but yeah, no. And they've just been running an ad against our current mayor. Who I personally, he's done a lot of great. Um. <laughs> Speaking of great stuff, how um, long sorry, is this sorry, episode been that. going? I'm very sorry. Um. But yeah, no. Um. And all they've said is like. Yeah, car crashes have doubled in, like, the year that he became mayor. I'm like, don't... That is his fault, actually, though. I got you. Not even that. I think it's just been, like, there's a lot of car crashes lately, and our good old mayor's been taking it on that. <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> He's awfully silent on not all sure these if he can... car crashes. Uh... Do you want him to? That's been their entire argument, other than I think the phrase is keep your hands off my knee. And I'm not sure if that's a thing at him because. Off he's gay. my meat? Like M E A T? M E A T. Uh huh. I'm not sure if that's something because yeah. the current mayor's gay? They're just homophobic? As, as we know. Uh, you know, gay people like every man. That's how it works. True. Just like straight people want to fuck. Just like That's... straight people want to fuck every woman. You know, it's it's just how it works. It looks like uh, 
Uh. Yep. Guy from Mario. I don't remember the name. A Lactu? Yeah, thank you. Lactu. <laughs> I really enjoy that he is on the screen staring at you. <laughs> While you play. I don't know how to get rid of him now. <laughs> he said, hey, you got any games on your phone? Chisel <laughs> <laughs> said, that, said that to us when we picked him up from the airport. <laughs> <laughs> I was, like, I was like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, it was really good. It was funny. Yeah, it was, it was good. Oh. Uh, there's a fact though. Alright, I'm trying to find the deepest lore of this uh, getting hands off meat. The governor is named Jared. Yeah. Jared Polis issue, has issued a proclamation naming March 20th Meat Out Day. Is he vegan? What is... What is Meat Out Day? I didn't even know about out? this. What? Yeah. Is it just where all of dudes get the it's, dicks it's out? Not, it's a... It's a fucking nothing performative bullshit policy. So all it is is... It's just like a state, not even a holiday, just a state day where they're like, hey, uh, you should try on this day not eating meat and trying to explore other nutritious diets. Mm -hmm. That That's like, it's nothing. He's really changing the, it's, the world, to be honest. It, it is. Gosh, pol all politics are just aesthetics and no substance. Yes, yeah, true. Yeah, I mean, oh, no, it's so fucking. No, but. But I, I I know I'm saying like the, the people being mad at the meat out day even yeah because like you're getting mad at nothing yeah. you're making like, nothing into an issue to rally behind what cap insulin yeah cap yeah, yeah like the price so ah, it can't go up okay yeah. good thing good it's a good thing, good thing. Good thing. okay <laughs> that's what we're worried about it's like yeah yeah it's good yeah. very expensive. We also now have um, we go by popular vote. Oh, no. Hmm. You guys said that. You know they used to detect diabetes by drinking Taking people's tests. pee. Yes. Yeah. I drank my nice. <laughs> hey, babe. Are you joking? Or are you? <laughs> I need to. I need to drink <laughs> your <laughs> your piss. Yeah, because... I mean that. I just don't I, know. <laughs> I think you might be diabetic, babe, <laughs> yeah, yeah. so I just, I need to. And it's like, it's like, for your, for your health. it's really expensive to go to the hospital yeah, yeah. and like get the tests and like, mm -hmm. you know, we don't want to yeah, yeah. spend that and money if we don't have you, to. You don't want to have to like prick your finger and. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, so uh, much easier to just let me drink it. Yeah. Oh yeah, I think you think? I told this you think story every... on the channel, but I once had a claim that she drank piss. Oh, because it was healthy or something. Oh yeah, like Andrew mm -hmm. Tate drinking gum. What well, does well, that's he? That's just to recycle <laughs> it. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Does like he? You lose a lot of. Gotta keep the power. testosterone. Which, funnily enough, apparently gum has like a lot of extra. <laughs> Did you, yeah, you gotta come out all the you can't, yeah. you can't have it in your body, you know. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, did you see his like? He when he went on Fox News after being deplatformed, and he he like shifted like all grifters do to being like, ah, uh, God, God loves me, and God will get me through this. And it's like, dude, I don't think, I don't think that's what, I don't think that that's what your message was about before. No, it is. Got it. Once again, viewers, domestic violence is is the no answer. joke. No, domestic violence is no joke, but it is seriously funny. 
You think, uh, sorry, backtracking here, you think uh, anyone's yeah, yeah. ever been shooting like a golden shower scene is like, I think you might be diabetic. <laughs> <laughs> Have you, have you checked yourself out for You should go to the doctor. <laughs> for real, dude. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to check that out. Yep. Oh man, that was just a weird shit. Just throw on my side. <laughs> just like... Hmm, that was a bit sweet. Have you have you recently gotten shot? You no, know, because like it'd be really bad. Just saying, like you need to watch out. Yeah, yeah. Don't forget, you're doing it's a service to your neighbors when happen to their fucking plumbing. Fucking service. Yeah, you're really just checking on the neighborhood. Yeah. Bring out property value, obviously. Yeah, that's why I like to uh, go out back and shoot a couple rounds off in the air once a week. <laughs> Keep the rent down for all my homies <laughs> out there struggling. Thanks, man. No problem. Appreciate it. How, okay, weird question. How does rent stay so high? <laughs> what do you mean? There's like fucking hurricanes almost every single fucking <laughs> yeah but you live on the beach bro yeah and also the people who can like really afford to live here they just evacuate because they have the money to and oh so i just dealt i just dealt with my first week off training at the hotel i work at being uh right when the evacuation for tampa was was issued and let me tell you, you can you can tell just by pe how people react. I think you did it. Who lives in Florida and who who has not lived in yeah, Florida? Yeah, you got the top score. Fuck yeah! All right, I'm All right. Gonna... good. Uh huh. Go. Yeah. But like, people be calling me and asking questions. They're like, Holy "Do it. Shit. What do you think? What do you think the storm's gonna do?" And I'm gonna be. I'm like, "What do you mean? <laughs> like, I do not." I'm like, I've lived here my whole life. The only thing I can assure you is that. Uh, there is no assurances with a hurricane. It can... Oh, terrifying. <laughs> ah, you You're see, like that's, that's what could happen. That could happen. Just, you could turn around and everyone is reduced to ash. Answering for their sins. It literally looks like you're a baby in a cradle with the, like, the hand puppets in front of you and the... Well, I'll so, see uh... y'all later. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's probably, uh... Cause that's probably the end, right? Yeah. Where the yeah, fuck like... are my shit? Yeah. Dude, Where's okay, my baby? Hand I fucking spent time on that. <laughs> hey guys, I got my snack. I'm ready to record. <laughs>